Hey guys, my name's Dan, and today's reaction comes from Nuke's Top 5. This is Top 5 Scary Ghost Moves that make you go, Arrgh. Or is it, Arrgh. 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 I, I don't really know, but I absolutely love Nuke's Top 5's titles, because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but with different uh, lists on YouTube, uh, every like fifth video is like the same thing. But like he always gets super creative and it's actually pretty funny most of the time. But uh, before we get into this, uh, for those of you who don't know, I put our reactions every single day, react a bit of everything, including many more from Nuke's Top 5. So if you like what you see here today, you're bound to find many more things that you enjoy. So please go right below this video. Let me know which one of these videos scared you the most. Click that like button, the subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. All those things really helps out my channel and go on over and support Nuke's Top 5. If you have not already, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. And without any further ado, let's go. Norwegian Ghost. This next scary video is from Norway, where we see three girls sitting around playing with a homemade Ouija board. Well, it's either a homemade Ouija board or a Japanese Kokori San board. Uh, okay. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, as one girl films, nothing much happens at first, but then things take a very unexpected turn. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Oh! 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 Why don't mess with this shit? Give it up. No. Oh, can I go, Emily? Oh, now I tell you, go, Emily. I tell you. Probably not. Det kommer særlig sånne lysglimt foran skjermen, altså. Det er drikker jo ikke. Nå tror jeg døren er åpnet, altså. I mean, might as well. What? Oh! Yep, that's definitely a sign. If there's one thing to be learned from this creepy video, it's that when you're messing with ghosts on a Ouija board, never say, quote, it's not working, or, quote, show us a sign. Yeah. So, do you think this is a scary video of a summoned ghost caught on camera? 
Could be. Or is it just some bored Norwegian girls pulling a prank? Let me know. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with the first one. News Top 5 viewers and first-time paranormal explorers Salem and Faraz travel to the abandoned Excellencia Hotel Suites in the city of Amman, Jordan. They plan to conduct a nighttime exploration of the creepy nine-story building. The hotel is said to be haunted after a tragic event that happened five years ago. A man found his wife cheating on him in a hotel room on the third floor. In a rage, the man took her life and that of her lover. Soon after, the hotel was forced to shut down after receiving a bad reputation and guests begin to claim that they experienced a constant dreadful feeling of being watched. However, Solomon and Faraz are more worried about encountering real and very much alive people during their exploration, as they too feel like they're being watched and followed. When they reach the supposedly haunted third floor, the explorers experience something downright chilling. Dude, dude, who the f did this? It's not cool. This is not cool. Oh, couldn't tell what that was. Since we entered this place, we can't get a good feeling out of this. I feel like I'm being followed. So fucking. I don't see anybody. Okay. Okay. Is the one? Sure. They say this is the one that they got killed in. I'm not planning to go in. I'm not gonna go in. What? What the f? What the f Someone was here. There is more clothes in the oh. Is that? No. What? No. I need to go. What? Are you sure? What? Did I miss something? I mean, clearly I did. <laughs> Oh, hello! He that he felt that something was watching them. Ooh. And when analyzing the footage, a strange, bizarre shape can be seen in a room at the end of the hallway. When Salem pans his camera back to the hallway, nothing there. Mm -hmm. Then his friend Forrest claims to have seen someone in the hotel room where the tragic event took place, and they both just make a run for it. In the last shot, a terrifying figure can be seen watching the two friends from very close by. Hello. So did something paranormal chase them out of the hotel? Looks like it. Because just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch the full exploration over on the YouTube channel, Salem and Faress, GHT. Now this next spooky video was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Pastor Aaron from Peace Memorial Church in Oregon. Pastor Aaron explains in his email that because of the current global health crisis, he was attempting to record announcements for the church's temporary online services. He's using his phone to record a video when he is interrupted by something that he just can't explain. Well, hey everybody, Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. Oh. Okay, we're we're uh, we've been trying to do this announcement several times today already, and uh, three times that podium back there has fallen over cool. on its own, and it's uh, it's stable. I mean, 
It's not wobbly at all. Looks good. It's uh, kind of like... Oh, there it goes again. That uh, podium has been wobbling. Okay, so there's, we checked the vent. There's a vent there that is not an air duct that has any forced air at all. So it can't be wobbling from that. Oh, there's absolutely no breeze in here. You can see by the banner there. Mm -hmm. There's this, no, no air conditioning. It's these things, they're off. I don't know. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch it for a little bit. Flag is moving and, a little uh, bit here. We will I'll see if it does it again. Maybe not. There it is, there it is, it's moving again. It's moving, it's moving. That flag's moving. Ooh, that thing's moving. Uh huh. That hasn't been moving. That's new. Mm hmm. Seriously, nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Why, particularly that area? Good grief. Yeah, good grief is right. Pastor Aaron says that he has used the podium for years and it has never once been wobbly or suddenly fallen over. Even stranger, the flagpole next to the podium begins to move on its own as well. The pastor explains that nothing spooky or paranormal has ever happened at the church, but he says that a few times he has been called to help families who were dealing with paranormal events at their homes. So could something have followed Pastor Aaron back to the church? Maybe. Let me know what you think. Oh, that's clever. This next video was sent in by Nate Howard from Providence, Utah. Nate says in his email that he and his family moved to their new rental home just four months ago, and almost immediately they began to experience very creepy and unexplainable activity. The family hears the unexplained sound of multiple people walking around the house. Doors and cupboards open and close on their own, and lights in the house turn on and off at all hours of the night. After being woken by these bizarre noises several times, the family decided to set up a few security cameras around the home. Two days later, Nate discovers one of the cameras has recorded something absolutely chilling. This almost looks like, I think, the, the kitchen from uh, Paranormal Activity 2 or... Three, I think. I'm not saying it is. It just looks a lot like it. Oh, hi there. What the hell was that? The lights in the kitchen flicker on and off by themselves as a strange shadow oh! figure appears out of nowhere. Nate is baffled by what they've captured on camera and is worried that the cameras might have somehow triggered whatever might be haunting their new home. Okay. But what do you think this could be? I have no idea. Know, down below. That's terrifying. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The kids in the hall. Ooh, it's a good Our show. explorer Colin from the YouTube channel The Bearded Explorer often finds himself in some of the creepiest abandoned locations in England, but he says he's never been to one as scary as this. A hospital that was built in 1882 to treat children suffering from horrible infectious diseases. The large structure closed down in the 1980s and has been left to rot ever since. Considering the building's tragic history, it's no wonder that Colin feels a little creeped out as he heads inside completely alone to explore the old hospital. But it gets worse because he starts to hear some very odd sounds. God, this is really creepy. Do you know what? I hate, I, I love it, but I hate it at the same time walk around these places on your own because, I don't know, right now, it, it feels like there's someone like stood right behind me following me. There's not, but it feels like that. Ugh. What the hell is that? Oh, 
Oi, oi. <laughs> okay then. Hello. Hello. Understandably, Colin gets more and more freaked out by all the unexplained sounds that seem to be coming from somewhere very near him. He decides to just end his exploration, but before he does, he puts his camera down on the ground to get one last standard B-roll shot of himself walking the hospital hall. Sure. But instead, he captures something downright chilling. What? <gasps> oh! Oh, what? Did you see it? Uh-huh. Colin is shocked when he sees what looks like the dark figure of a child standing at the end of the hallway. As he grabs up his camera, he captures just a glimpse of the childlike figure as it disappears into thin air. Now, some people say that what Colin captured could just be explained away as a shadow or an optical illusion. While what others I are convinced that he did actually see the apparition of a little boy in like, I thought that was a thing, but okay, I guess not. ...inside the haunted hospital. So a month later, and after many requests from his viewers, Colin returns to the abandoned hospital again. It probably goes without saying, but it did not go well. <sighs> Why am I doing this? Why am I here on my own? Mm. Walking around this abandoned hospital that I saw something. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a ghost. It it wasn't a shadow. I mean, I can show you guys now, right? This is basically where I was standing. This this is where I was. The camera was literally so there. This is what you saw. Basically that. Now, I heard something. I cracked myself. I ran back here. And as I picked it up, I went like that. And then I saw something just behind that blue chair. Now, bearing in mind, I saw it with my own eyes. I didn't realize I had it on camera, but a lot of you guys were saying it's shadows, it's this, it's that, but you know, I just cannot stress to you enough that this wasn't a shadow. I actually saw something move with my own eyes and I cannot reenact that. You know, that there is no shadow. Mm. What the hell was that? Something new? Oh, I think it's just water dripping. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm probably putting off going up there. But... That's yeah, fair. Oh, Jesus Christ. I could just hear noises all around me. Right. Let's do this. All right, good luck. <sighs> what the hell was that? How was that? I'm sure I heard some. Something swinging it's up probably there. probably just the wind. I felt that I had to come back here and just, just come here again and just see, you know, try and find a reason, you know, some, like an explanation, if you like, to... Whoa. What? But I never put... Huh? This is weird. I think it is just walk. Whoa. Okay. Okay, that's scary. I'm pretty sure it is just water dripping, but. You never know. Oh. God, this is absolutely. Aye, what aye, the aye. No, I'm, I'm hearing noises all around me. I don't know what it is. There is. Oh, I, I, I am just so terrified right now. Much like his last visit, Colin again hears odd unexplained noises coming from all around him. He heads up to the hospital's second floor, takes a look around, and then heads back down to the first floor hallway. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. <sighs> what is it about this place? Oh, 
I hate this place, I really do. Just listening. Oh. I think that might have been a rat. A small red ball comes rolling out of oh, one of the hospital rooms, and Colin makes a run for it. After all that he's seen and heard at the old abandoned hospital, Colin says he'll never go back alone. Fair. You can watch both explorations at the abandoned hospital and many more great Urbex videos over on the YouTube channel, The Bearded Explorer. Mother. Canadian paranormal investigator Jordan from the popular YouTube channel Paranormies sets out on a solo investigation to a small two-bedroom home in Winnipeg, Canada that is believed to be haunted by a troubled spirit. The house belongs to a man named Anesh who grew up in the home with his mother Manisha. But one day Anesh's beloved mother Manisha fell extremely ill. Oh. Refusing to go to the hospital, Manisha passed away on her own bed in the home that she and Anesh shared. Anesh was absolutely devastated when he found her. Struck with intense, debilitating grief, he was unable to call the authorities for two days as he mourned. Oh my. Today, Anesh believes that he made a terrible mistake by waiting so long, as his culture believes that a body must receive a proper burial ritual soon after death, or the spirit could become trapped and unable to move on. Anesh claims that his mother has appeared to him as a white cat, greeting him every day on his way to work. He has also seen his mother standing in his bedroom doorway oh after my. waking up in the middle of the night. Anesh says that the home has been so paranormally active that he truly believes the spirit of his mother is trapped inside. Paranormal investigator Jordan spends the night at the house in the hopes of helping Manisha's ghost pass on from its earthly bonds. Jordan decides to try a supernatural test. He leaves the motion-activated ball at the top of the stairs in the loft before continuing his investigations downstairs. Later, when he finds himself back at the staircase to the loft, he's in for a chilling surprise. Okay, I think... Whoa! The ball's going off right now. Oh. Maybe not. Okay, I think, whoa, the ball's going off right now. Can you touch it again? Thank you for being active and using the equipment. Manisha, one more time, please. Can you touch the motion ball? What? Now this thing can't, doesn't light up at all. He checks the upstairs loft, but doesn't find any explanation as to how the little ball could have suddenly launched itself down the stairs. When Jordan heads back down, this happens. Oh. I hate these stairs. Whoa, okay. The door to the attic loft mysteriously closes on its own. Oh. Jordan decides yeah. to sit down on the bed where Mother Manisha tragically passed away in hopes of communicating with her spirit. What happens next is downright chilling. Manisha, are you, are you still here or are you, are you done for the night? Oh, she is not. Ay, 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 ay,
ay, ay. Alrighty then. Holy crap. Denisha. Look at this. Footprints. Please, if I follow these footsteps, am I going to find you? Okay. Okay, Manisha. Oh, God. I think it's time that we met face to face, right? Are you sure about that? Anisha? Ho! Oh. oh my god. Okay. Hey, Manisha, do you know? If you want me to leave, I'll leave. I thought we were friends. The bathtub faucet suddenly turns on and when Jordan checks it out, he finds someone or something standing in the bathtub. Mm -mm. Whoever or whatever it is appears to be dressed in red. The figure then disappears from the bathroom, leaving behind only watery footprints that lead down to the basement. So bizarre. When Jordan follows the footprints down, the lid of the washing machine lifts and drops on its own. Ho! Oh. Then a light bulb next to the washer spontaneously bursts. Oh yeah, there it is. A static camera pointing towards the door to the basement and the door to the attic records as Jordan heads back upstairs. Without the investigator knowing, the camera catches something truly bizarre. Oh, there's a rough hot. Anisha? Pod. Anisha? I'm not. Am I just completely missing it? The shadow figure quickly darts into the living room as Jordan comes around the corner of the basement. So, could this be the spirit of Manisha still trapped inside the home she shared with her son? That shot is unbelievable. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more terrifying activity and a possible conversation with Manisha's ghost over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Hide and seek. Jordanian ghost hunter Ahmad Sali sets out to investigate a home that's been terrorized by extreme paranormal activity. The father of the family who lives in the house reached out to Ahmad claiming to have seen the apparition of a little boy. He says the child spirit plays with his daughter's toys often screaming and throwing fits of rage. The family believes the boy to be a dangerous shape-shifting djinn, and they feel that it is no longer safe to live in their home. Ahmad stays overnight as he tries to get answers for the terrified family. He streams his investigation live on Snapchat. As the investigator walks around the house, mm, nothing much seems to happen. So he puts down his phone and decides to walk away from it hoping something might appear while he's not observing. His live audience is shocked by what the phone captures. Oh, 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 dude! What the hell is peeking around the corner? It looks like a child or something. Okay, it's still there. Oh, it's still there. Oh, that was a long arm too? Ahmad is looking away and has no idea that the little boy has made a chilling appearance. Mm -hmm. Unaware of the lurking gin, Ahmad yep, records himself as he steps inside the same room. Holding right a toy? Right next to the figure. 
Surprisingly, Teddy. the explorer still doesn't see anything, but his live audience does. <laughs> Oh, yep, yep, just peeking behind him. Oh, my God. There it is again. <laughs> he saw it. Oh, he saw it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ahmad is shocked when he finally sees the boy. He quickly grabs his phone and hurries inside the room, but there's no one there. Of course not. And from here, the paranormal activity only intensifies. A few moments later, and this happens. How are you? Eh? Uh, eh? Uh? Something makes another quick appearance and Ahmad suddenly hears a loud slamming sound in the other room. When he goes to check it out, again, there's nothing there. Ahmad is baffled and continues to search throughout the house. Oh. Again, the boy shows himself. Ahmad runs to find the child, but he has disappeared yet again. So did the investigator capture the djinn that is said to haunt the family? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It's not bad. You decide. Thanks for watching. Check out my... Yeah, so I think like those last two are probably like the most compelling ghost evidence... Uh, evidence of ghosts that i've seen in a while uh certainly the one with the woman in the shower that was so crazy because normally we see like black shadow figures but this woman was in red and then tracking the water that was in the shower all across uh where they live and then down into the basement and yet stuff being closed stuff breaking this woman was all over this place so i i think I feel like that is a little more, but like that, the the, the kid that the looks like he was like holding something, right? Looked like it was like a teddy bear or something. I don't know. That that's just so so crazy to me. But uh, that's gonna do it for me here. And before I go, though, I want to give a huge shout out to all my five dollar and end up supporters on Patreon: Marvin Espinoza, Cruising, Wolver Three Ten, Lord Davenport, Caster Cronage, Amber K, Angel Garcia, Nicholas Sautel, Daquan Johnson, Aiden Sewell, Colton McBride, and my lone channel member King Boo Three Three Six PD Nine Zero Nine. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. It's really, really appreciated. And if you too like to have your name read at the end of each and every one of my videos, plus many other fun goodies, maybe even requested me to react to another scary video or two, please head on over to patreon.com slash react. The link will be right there in the description, or you can head right below this video, click that join button there, or head right over my channel page and click that join button there. And with that being said, comment down below to let me know which one of these scared you the most. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. I also want to see past reactions. I've done the other Nukes Top 5 videos. Got a nice playlist right over there full of them for you. Share this video. Subscribe if you subscribed already. Read notification bell because I put in new videos every single day. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>